Hello all, welcome back to the assembly language programming of 8085. The next program that we are going to talk about is to shift an 8-bit data by 4 bits to the right. Means what? Suppose you are having 1000111. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. The data should be that last 1111 sh should shift to the right so that you get 11111011. So how to do about shifting is using one of the logical group of instructions called as rotate accumulator right with the carry. Even, even you can use rotate accumulator right without carry also, which is going to be um, the same as your last uh, RAR Pro instruction. Okay, so. Uh, what is the what is the program is shift the data four bits to the right and the data is there in memory location 2000 so first point is take the data to accumulator so how do you point to the memory location it is by using lxi h2000 and shift it shift that data which is there in 2000 to accumulator by move am now the data is already there in accumulator you can start rotating it to the right that is R A R. Okay, now here there are possibilities that the carry is having some data that is one. So for that you can include the instruction that STC CMC so that the carry becomes zero in the beginning. Okay, so you can include that also. So once you rotate it four times, whatever is the last four uh, bit of the eight bit data will shift to the next position and it is only that which is asked that's why we have not done here but if you are very much uh, like you know 45 should be uh, the result as 54 then it has to be in the beginning stc and cmc what is stc set carry and then complement so that the carry becomes zero or uh, or else what we can do is instead of rotating it with carry you can go for rotate without carry so that the carry is not interfering into the rotation that is also possible okay uh, so you can try uh, with your by writing on your as your own the how to rotate it without the rotation without carry okay now after rotating it for four times the result is the shifted data and that data you you have to store it back into 2000 that is what is the question okay so you have to put that accumulator back to memory and then stop the processing i hope this is clear to rotation see these are all basic things uh, which makes you understand the next pa part of the programs wherein you need to rotate the data shift the data to some location all those things are the basic things okay next is a series of numbers are stored from memory location d1001 to d1010 and now we have to find the largest number among these numbers so the usual method that we when we are asked in general to find out the largest item in a given set of uh, things then what is that the what is the logic that that goes behind is the comparison you have something in mind okay now in mind i have this much as the largest number is that no, that thing is bigger than that so like that you're going to compare whichever is the bigger you keep it in mind and say okay this is the bigger number similarly the same logic goes there as the basic logic is here what is comparison okay so what do you do is first take the data in accumulator uh, so okay one more thing that you have to understand over here is there are numbers from 1 to 10 so the how many datas are there total 1 to 10 means 10 that is after f 10 those many data 16 datas are there so those datas are considered as the block length so that data we have stored it in c register and why we have taken accumulator as 0, 0 is we want to have the comparison as many number of times as the number of numbers but when you have nine numbers the comparisons number of comparisons are only eight so if you compare the first number with zero then number of number comparisons are also becoming nine so that's why first time we are doing compare that data with zero so that your number of comparisons become same as number of numbers okay that's why we have put accumulator as zero and then take that content to memory to <clears throat> that's memory 
and then uh, compare it. If the carry is generated or not generated, depending upon that only, we are saying whether that number is greater or smaller. So at the first point, the contents of accumulator are 0, 0, which is smaller. And the content of memory is, suppose it is 1, then also it is bigger number. So what we want that 0, 1 to be put it into the accumulator. So when accumulator is smaller than the memory, there is no, uh, uh, the carry is uh, not generated. So when carry is, sorry, carry is generated, when the carry is generated, you, 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 can't, you cannot jump. So when you are not jumping, what you're doing here, you are shifting the data from memory to accumulator and then go to the next memory location, decrement the content of C. What is C? It is number of comparisons. And then whatever is there in the C, if it, till it becomes zero, you are going on comparing, comparing with the next memory location content. And if the memory content is bigger, it will, it will be shifted to accumulator. If not, the accumulator is taken as it is and going to the next memory location. This is how the memory contents are taken to accumulator at the end, whichever is the largest number. And then whatever is there in accumulator, we are going to shift it into memory and then going to stop the program. Okay. Next is write a program to subtract the numbers stored from 3601 from 3600 and the result to be stored in 3602H. So here, of course, we have already done the subtraction program, but here they are asking to get the positive result. Subtract and store the result, which is positive result in 3602. So when you are doing that subtraction and getting the positive result, at the first time, if the positive result is not there, what you are doing is you are changing the position of the data. First time we are doing 3600 minus 3601. If it is not there, so that what we are making is 3601 minus 3600. So how we, how we did? If the result is not positive, that is jump on positive. If it is not true, then we are going to go to Whatever is there in memory means what the next data that is 3601 data is shifted to accumulator and going back to the re previous memory location that is 3600. So we are subtracting and we are getting the result and storing it in 3602 using SDA 3602. Okay. The next program that we are going to understand over here is multiplication of two 8-bit numbers. The logic for multiplication is successive addition as in 8085 we don't have any multiplication instruction so how do you do if you are multiplying 4 by 5 either you add 4 to 4 5 times or 5 to 5 4 times whichever is okay okay so when you are adding 4 to 4 5 times 5 to be made as the counter and add 4 to 4 how many times 5 times so what is the logic you are applying is first pointing to the memory location C1005 and that data you are taking to C register. Why we are taking the, that to C register? Because we want that to be the counter like 4 added to 4 5 times that 5 is the counter and then now putting accumulator to 0 0 because when you are adding 4 to 4 5 times uh, if you directly take the number 0 5 as the counter the number of additions become 5 whereas we want how many the additions are 4. Even though numbers are 5, the additions are uh, 4. So, so for that reason, first time you are adding the number to 0. And then uh, as you go into the loop, the result is there in accumulator. And that accumulator result, we have to store it in C1000. So either uh, you, with this program, the result is there in memory, which is C1008. Okay, the result is there in C1008. Suppose you want to store the location uh, C1000 with the result. What changes you can make is after jump on no 0 to up, you can directly write STA C1000. Okay. According to the question, the result is to be stored in C1000 for which we need to make the changes as STA C1000. Okay. Instead of INX H and move a MA, you can write it as STA C thousand. Okay, so that is the program for multiplication. Okay. Next is the program which is to multiply eight bit numbers 
and we are trying to store two byte result in the last program it was only one byte result whereas here we are trying to uh, have the two byte result for which we are doing the addition of two bytes together so what is the instruction which adds the two bytes together is dad instruction so what is that dad instruction if you write dad d it is going to add hl contents with d contents and then this result is stored in hl pair so that logic we are using instead of last time example it was accumulator added to memory or here the hl pair is acting like a accumulator and the result is there in hl pair okay so how do you do it lxi h make it as 0 0 0 0 put the data uh, of c1005 to accumulator and take it into e register now next is lda c1006 and put that uh, data as accumulator data itself and then d we are taking it as 0 0 so that de pair uh, is there is the data is the 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 one byte which is there and another byte is there in accumulator so accumulator is acting as a counter here and you are adding that d so that is d e with hl so e content is the data and d is 0 0 so you are adding 0 0 0 0 with 0 0 0 5 if you are adding uh, 5 to 5 four times suppose the example if you're taking 4 into 5 and you are putting accumulator content to e as 0 5 and the content of um c1006 is 4 then that data you are continuously adding to uh, like those many times the data is added to hl pair so when you're doing it like this so what is that lda after after uh, once the addition is done dadd one time 05 is added to 00 now we have to add the 05 to four times 05 to 05 four times so that's why we have the counter as accumulator and we are going back to accumulate uh, that D. So this is repeated how many times? The number of the contents in accumulated times. And once the contents of uh, DE are added to HL, the other number of times you are going to uh, stop here by the instruction jump on no zero to loop. If C accumulator becomes zero, it is not going to go back. And the result is already there in HL pair. And that data you are shifting to C1000 and you are ending the program okay okay the next program is a block of data is stored from d1000 to d1000f write the program to shift the data contents of the block in the reverse order starting from memory location d100 so the meaning of putting the data in reverse order is suppose you have data 1 2 3 4 in 1 2 3 4 memory location and other memory location is 5 6 7 8 so this 1, 2, 3, 4 should go in the reverse order as at location 5, 4 should go. At location 6, 3 should go. Location 7, 2 should go. And location 8, 1 should go. It is in the reverse order. So when you are doing it so, what you what is the logic that you are doing, you are doing is just you are shifting. How you are shifting? You are pointing to the first location of the first block and the last location of the second block. Or you are pointing to the last location of the first block and the first location of the second block. So you are shifting. You are just taking the data from that location and putting it to the next location. The first block you are going in the reverse order and the second block you are going to come down. So the, that kind of logic we are using to shift the data in reverse order. So what is it? First we are pointing to D1000F. What is this D1000F? The last data byte of the even block. So that is lxi hd 1000 f and the next block is what it is starting from d1100 so we have taken it as it is as lxi hd 100 now as there are uh, 16 data bytes so we are putting mbib as 10h now whatever is there in memory what is there in memory the content which is there at the end of the block of, end of the first block that you are shifting to accumulator and that content you are shifting to the memory location whose address is there in D pair of register. So what is the instruction? STAXD. Now once once the data is shifted, the next step is you, you go to the previous location of the first block and go to the next location of the second block. So how do you go? DCXH and XD. Once you do that, you go back to shift the data as using STAXD. Those, this process is repeated how many times till the counter B becomes zero. Once the counter B becomes 0, means what? We have already shifted all the datas in the reverse order from D1000 to D1000F 
to the thousand one hundred to the thousand one hundred and f. Okay. So the next program is a block of data is stored in memory location D thousand one. The length is stored at D thousand. Another block of same length is stored from D one zero zero. Now it has to be write a program to exchange the contents of these two blocks. It is now swapping between the two blocks. One block, another block. Both has some data. One block data has to go to another block. Another block's data has to come to the previous block. So here. first thing is we have to point to both the memory locations so as we are pointing to both the memory locations we will be using separate pair of registers one using hl pair the other one using de pair of register so lxi hd 1000 and lxi d d100 now why we have pointed to lxi hd 1000 because it is given that d1000 is the block length that's why we have shifted that data to b register and then we have incremented hl pair so now we are on d1001 and d1101 whatever is in d1001 shift it to c register whatever is there in d pair of registers address that is d101 take it to accumulator and that accumulated data you are shifting to the memory that is d001 and now d101 data is there in what it is there in uh, uh, it is already shifted and now whatever is there of d001 we are shifting it using L, uh, mov ma so whatever is there in accumulator you are shifting to the memory and then c content what is c content the d001 content you are shifting to accumulator and that data you are shifting to the d101 memory location so this block of inxh move cm ldxd move ma move ac scxd this is the uh, these are the instructions of one time exchange so this block has to be repeated how many times till the counter becomes zero that's why what we did is incremented d pair because we need to go to the next memory location of d101 and d001 content is incremented by inxh in the beginning itself so after that what we did is we have decremented d and jump on no zero to up so this has repeatedly done how many times till the counter becomes zero once the counter becomes zero the contents are already swapped okay exchanged swapped in the sense exchanged between the first block and the second block okay so this is how we are trying to understand the programs of 8085 okay next in uh, in the next session next video i am going to talk about the next level program of 8085 okay thank you